So hello all Windows users and if you are a Windows user you are wondering two things in the last time. First is when the heck will MIDI 2 be finally ready on Windows and number two can I actually use this cool nice new laptop with the Snapdragon X processor which is an ARM processor and we have new infos about that. Good Pete Brown, he's fighting the good fight for us musicians inside of Microsoft got us covered with new information. So first thing, what about MIDI 2.0? It was actually promised to be part of the new Windows feature update, so the 24H2 update. And I was totally surprised to not find this functionality inside of this update. And there was also no information about what is about to expect. And Pete told us now it takes a little bit longer. And the reason for that is ARM, but we will We'll have a look at that as well in a second. First, let's have a look what is so cool that we want MIDI 2.0 on Windows. It's not only about MIDI 2.0, so MIDI 2.0, I did lots of videos about that, so watch them if you're curious about that. It's very cool in itself, but the new architecture we are given now on Windows, so this new framework to access MIDI helps us a lot. So it will finally get rid of this issue that you can open a driver, a MIDI driver, only once you know this infamous and totally misleading error. There is not enough memory available to access your MIDI device, which is the most pointless error ever. So this will hopefully go away and you will also get a new unified MIDI API to develop also software which can use the old driver model. So everything will be integrated into that and the developer don't have to care about these things. And still the old applications are still running but will use the new infrastructure as well. So you will have other benefits like you can open your devices multiple times. So great thing to have and we are waiting for that. And he told us now there will be some delays in that. What is here to say? Launch date. They will be rolled out through Insider Build over the next month. So Insider Builds is a little bit more than developer builds. So I think everybody can sign up for Insider Build so you can get this version already. But I guess it will be really in a final official public Windows version. This might take some more months so maybe early or mid 2025 next year so we still need more patience till this will finally show up but nevertheless i think an insider build is something you can put maybe on a test machine and already check that out how this will work so still we need to wait a bit and if you're a developer there is also soon the dotnet conf talk for c sharp developers and there will also be a talk from Pete, how you can develop with this new C Sharp framework. If you are curious, check that out. I will also put all the links to these two blog articles into the description of the video. So it's a very, very good read as well. Second thing, what about ARM? So if you are sleeping under a rock in the last time, so Windows has now some laptops out which are finally on par speed-wise with the Apple CPU, so the M chips. And this is due to the fact that they can now uh, support the Snapdragon X processor, which is ARM-based as well. And same as in Apple, they have translation layer in there. So you can also run your old Intel version on there. But what is not translatable is the driver level. So you still need specific specific drivers for your ARM devices. And I checked and so far no audio company promised drivers for that. So these devices, so these ARM devices are currently totally unusable if you are a musician. But there is hope and there is rescue. So let's check that out. What Pete is saying here. So what announced this week? So Steinberg, Cubis and Nuendo 
will already show a preview of their software this week, which will run then natively even on Windows ARM. But they also announced that they will create a USB audio ASIO driver, which will run on ARM. And also Focusrite announced that also early 2025. So we still also need patience for that. But at least there is hope now and there is something happening. But the much more interesting news is is that line here. So Microsoft themselves are working on a driver which will be a class compliant USB driver. So if you any device with USB 2 or 3 which is class compliant, this will work on an ARM laptop when and it will provide an ASIO driver out of the box. I'm not sure if this is a very good news because we're still stuck with good old ASIO. I somehow hope that finally Microsoft would re-innovate their stack as well like they did now with MIDI 2.0, but we are still here stuck with ASIO. But nevertheless, it did the job in the last years. And so this is at least a good start. But Pete also writes, that's not the end of the road. They will look into creating something improved over ASIO when this is out of the door and we got something workable. But there is more news in there. I already said Steinberg is coming up with native ARM versions, but also Reaper announced a preview for ARM as well as recent studios. And reading about Reaper, I directly jumped over to the Reaper downloads. And yes, it's already here. So you can already download now a first beta version of ARM support for Windows 11 on these cool new ARM laptops. You still cannot use that because you're missing the driver, but nevertheless, you can already check out a native Reaper version on these devices. To sum up, we still need some patience still early or mid 2025, but nevertheless, at least we know now what is happening. So stay tuned for all these announcements happening this week. And there will also be a talk of Pete on Thursday, I think. So check that out as well. And yeah, until next time, make some funky music.